Hello, everyone, and welcome to English Pod. My name is Marco. My name is Catherine, and it's the holiday season. Marco, people are eating large meals with their families, and I think oftentimes when you cook a lot of food, you have something extra at the end. What do we call that? That's right. Today we're going to talk about leftovers. Leftovers. That's the extra food after your meal that you eat later, maybe the next day. Exactly. So you know, during Christmas or during some holidays, we cook so much food that obviously we can't eat it all. So we put it back in the refrigerator and then we eat it later. So those are called leftovers. All right. So let's listen to this dialogue about leftovers, and we'll be back in a moment to discuss what's happening in the dialogue. What's for dinner? Leftovers. What? Leftovers of what and from when? From last night. I took the leftover turkey, mixed it with some diced peppers and onions, add a little bit of mayonnaise, and made some sandwiches. Isn't that dangerous, though? I mean, bacteria and germs reproducing on food that was left out or reheated. Well, I didn't leave the turkey out of room temperature for more than an hour, and I refrigerated it soon after we finished eating. Also, when reheating, I put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius. Well, okay. I'm just afraid of getting food poisoning. Don't worry about it. Making a new meal out of leftovers is almost an art. Not only do you save money, but you also get to be creative and have something different to eat. All right. So a lot of vocab there. Let's take a look at it in language takeaway. Language takeaway. All right, so Marco, there's one cooking term really in this dialogue that is it's a little bit different from the others. So let's start with that. It's diced. That's right. We were talking about taking some peppers or diced peppers. So when you dice a vegetable or anything、uh, that you're cooking, basically you're making little 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 pieces, little squares almost. That's right. So you can cut something many different ways.、Mm-hmm. Um, you can cut big pieces and small pieces. But diced peppers, diced is a specific way to cut something. Small, like you say, small squares.、Mm-hmm. And so, in recipes, you will often see this instruction: dice the peppers, or in this case, the peppers are diced. That's right. All right. So we took some turkey, mix it with diced peppers and a lot of things. And the roommate was a little bit concerned about bacteria and germs. All right. So bacteria and germs. These sound like very scientific words.、Mm-hmm. Um, bacteria. Is something that grows on well it, everything really, but、yeah. if you leave food out, for example, it gets bacteria or、um, germs are things that can make you sick. That's right. Right, and so we need to avoid these things in the kitchen because they make a, us unhealthy,、uh, and that's why we wash our hands and things like that. But when you have food that's left out, the risk is what, Marco? Is that you get bacteria or germs on it? Yeah, so it, it's dangerous. Like especially with meat,、yeah. if you leave it out, it's very very dangerous because you can get. Some、uh, bacteria that will make you sick, and the reason why we're a little bit concerned is, especially with meats, is if you leave it out after cooking it at room temperature. All right, so room temperature is the temperature of a normal room.、Mm-hmm. Maybe it's、um, 65 degrees or what's 25 degrees Celsius. Celsius. Yeah,、um, it's the temperature of a, the inside of a room, and、right. so、um, it's not cold, it's not hot, it's just normal. And when we leave food out,、um, especially meat, like you're saying, we have to be careful. You can't leave it out for very long if it's something like eggs or milk or. Um, what we call perishables. That's right. So actually, here comes the other two words that are、uh, a little bit of a contrast. We're going to talk about、uh, food that is reheated or refrigerated. All right. So the roommate is explaining. Don't worry. We、mm-hmm. have done these things to this food, so it's safe.、Mm-hmm. So one thing you can do to food to make it safe to kill germs is to reheat it.、Mm-hmm. That means. Um, well, you know the word heated, right? It's to to make something hot. But、mm-hmm. how is that different from reheated? Well, because you cooked it already,、mm-hmm. so it was warm. Now it went a little bit cold because it's at room temperature. So in order to make sure that it's safe to eat and you kill that bacteria, you reheat it. So you. Kind of cook it again a little bit. Yeah, you cook it again. So with leftovers, we often have to reheat things、mm-hmm. um, because they were hot, then they were cold, and now we want them hot again. That's right. So we reheat them. The opposite of that would be refrigerate. Right, and this is what you should do if you take something and put it in the refrigerator. What you are doing, the verb, the action, is to refrigerate it. 
That's right. So to refrigerate something means to make it cold. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there are important things that we refrigerate. We refrigerate eggs. We refrigerate milk. We refrigerate mm-hmm. butter. Right. These are things that can make us sick if we don't make them cold. Exactly. So those are the two words. Now, obviously, we it's a little bit different because the prefix to reheat means to do it again, while to refrigerate means you're just making it cold. Yeah. Well, they're important terms. And again, we also have the adjectives. This is reheated or refrigerated. Um, but there are another couple of phrases that are really important. So let's take a listen to those in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. All right. So the first phrase we're going to take a look at is when one of the roommates says, hey, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? All right. This is a very, very standard phrase. This is something you'll hear at home. You'll hear with your friends. Um, It's usually something we say that when someone is cooking food for dinner. Mm, That's right. We're asking, what are we going to eat for dinner? Mom, what's for dinner? Mm -hmm, Exactly. I used to say that every single day when I came (laughs) home from school. Well, obviously, you don't want to say the long phrase. What? are we going to have for dinner tonight so you just say what's for dinner what's for dinner what's for and then the answer would be lasagna or turkey sandwiches (laughs) right exactly now when they started talking about the leftover turkey he was a little bit concerned as we said about bacteria and germs because it usually happens that you get this on food that was left out all right so the verb here is to leave out to leave something out Mm -hmm. Um, it means to leave something Something or put something at room temperature. Right. So, Marco, you and I are eating turkey. It's Thanksgiving. And we start to have coffee and dessert. Mm-hmm. And the turkey is still in the room right. at room temperature. We did not refrigerate it. Mm-hmm. That means it was left out. How long was it left out? Well, maybe two hours. Right. Right. Okay, that means so it's it's not in a refrigerator. That's right. And that's exactly what it means. So maybe you go to sleep and you left the turkey out. It's still on the table maybe at room temperature. Oh, no, we can't eat it if we left it out for like 12 hours. Exactly. All right. So it's not good to leave food out. Uh, and now what happens is uh, if you do eat food that was left out for too long, you could get food poisoning. Uh, Now, this is very serious, and it's something that you should be very careful about when you're cooking. Food poisoning is um, getting sick from your food. Right. There are different kinds of food poisoning, but usually it makes you throw up, it makes your stomach hurt. It's Mm -hmm. quite painful. That's right. Um, And so this is why we say, you know, you should wash your hands before you cook. You should make sure that you refrigerate meat Mm -hmm. um, because Mm -hmm. you want to avoid food poisoning. That's right. And it comes from from the noun poison, a poison, which is something that is harmful for your body. That's right. There are many different kinds of poison, um, but food poisoning means becoming sick, your body getting sick after you eat something bad. That's right. All right. So a lot of great stuff here. We can review everything one last time. What's for dinner? Leftovers. What? Leftovers of what and from when? From last night. I took the leftover turkey, mixed it with some diced peppers and onions, just added a little bit of mayonnaise and made some sandwiches. Isn't that dangerous though? I mean, bacteria and germs reproducing on food that was left out or reheated? Well, I didn't leave the turkey out of room temperature for more than an hour and I refrigerated it soon after we finished eating. Also, when reheating, I put it in the oven for 15 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius. Well, okay. I'm just afraid of getting food poisoning. Don't worry about it. Making a new meal out of leftovers is almost an art. Not only do you save money, but you also get to be creative and have something different to eat. All right, so this is actually um, good advice about leftovers, about having something to eat. Um, But at the same time, I don't know how many people actually... Uh, are very careful with these things. For example, pizza. Sometimes you leave pizza out on the table all night and the next morning you have some pizza. I always refrigerate my pizza. Really? I I know people who leave their pizza out and then eat it, but Mm -hmm. uh, there's cheese and sausage and, you know, (laughs) you want to refrigerate that stuff. So I I always wrap it in plastic and Mm -hmm. put it on a plate in the fridge. Oh, okay. You wrap it in plastic. Well, because in the refrigerator, there's also germs. So you need to make sure you cover your food. Right, right, right. And uh, what about 
about uh, have you ever had a, a, a bad case of food poisoning because of having leftovers no um, <laughs> I've had food poisoning but not because of leftovers because as I said before you know I wrap things I put them in the refrigerator I'm very careful mm -hmm. because I don't want to get sick or mm -hmm. I don't want to get other people sick right, because right. you know Thanksgiving or Christmas you have to give food to many other people mm -hmm. and you know I don't want to make anyone sick so. and actually uh, you can get food poisoning not only from leftovers but from uh, maybe food that um, maybe was expired like sometimes uh, cheese maybe can be expired you didn't realize it and you know you get food poisoning or from people who are cooking with things that are not clean mm -hmm. so you have something that's not clean or food that's not fresh and it makes you very sick that's food poisoning that's right so in, it's an interesting thing especially with uh, like I said so many holidays where you cook so much food that people have a lot of leftovers and not only that but even at restaurants maybe you you order too much so you have leftovers you want to take home to your dog or to have later. I love leftovers. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know, do you have leftovers in your country? Um, are there things that you should and shouldn't do with when cooking? Um, let us know. Our, our website is EnglishPod.com. All right, we'll see you guys there. Bye. <laughs> the English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Food remaining uneaten at the end of a meal. Leftovers. A large American bird, similar to the chicken. Turkey. Of different kinds combined. Mix. To cut into small cubes. Dice. Small organisms. Bacteria. A microorganism. Germ. To make hot or warm again. Reheat. To make or keep cold. Refrigerate. Becoming sick because of bacteria in food. Food poisoning. Let's try that faster. A microorganism. Germ. Small organisms. Bacteria. Becoming sick because of bacteria in food. Food poisoning. To cut into small cubes. Dice. To make or keep cold. Refrigerate. To make hot or warm again. Reheat. Food remaining uneaten at the end of a meal. Leftovers. A large American bird, similar to the chicken. Turkey. Of different kinds combined. Mix. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Reheat. Could you please reheat this? It's a little cold. Reheat. I reheated this pizza for you. Reheat. I hate to reheat things. It always makes the food taste really bad. Food poisoning. Could you please use gloves? I don't want to get food poisoning. Food poisoning. My wife always gets food poisoning when she eats seafood. Food poisoning. You should never mix cooked and uncooked food, otherwise you will get food poisoning. Leftovers. There are plenty of leftovers from last night's dinner. Please help yourself. Leftovers.
I don't want to eat any leftovers. I need some quality food. Leftovers. You can come up with some very creative meals thanks to leftovers. Jam. Always wash your hands to wash away germs. Germ. Don't touch that, it has so many germs. Germ. I hate taking the subway. There are germs everywhere. Mix. I've prepared a bowl of mixed nuts for the party. Mix. My father has mixed ancestry. He is half Japanese and half Ecuadorian. Mix. I think having mixed classes will be good for the school.